Hey, go! Hey, do you want to hear a joke? This episode is of games done slow and bad. Today we're going into a painting. We already found the painting in the last episode, and it's got the chief of the village in the painting, and he appears to be sad. Let's go see what's wrong with him, shall we? Leo's brush, the paintbrush used to paint the picture, the world of evil. Oh, am I, am I excited to go into the world of evil? What on earth is this nonsense? These birds only move in a grid pattern. This is amazing. You, you know, it's aiming to think. Positioning is just like, hey, stand where he can't fly at you. Oh, okay. Like, he appears to be moving in a grid of four. Like, I, like, hardly need to think about where I'm going. I just need to not be in one of those four squares. All right, that opened the way. And what did we get here? Another goat? A parrot, perhaps? A monkey? All right, music change. Okay, never mind. Music's the same. Interesting. All right, um... So I'm gonna do this, and then what's gonna happen? Okay, nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. I was expecting flies to pour out of it. Alright, so we got this, um... Moving thing. So, look at the background. This reminds me of the, um... Incan... Was it Incan Ruins? No. Um... Sky Garden level. In Illusions. Which makes me very happy. That level was so pretty. I mean, this isn't quite as pretty, but also came out many, 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 many years prior. Alright, set so open the way. Interesting. The progression pieces are a lot of fun. Um, but to some extent, it is a little bit lazy, right? Because... You sort of know what's coming next. Alright, what do we got? Is this the parrot that I want? Parrot, please? A lonely goat. Oh, sad lonely goat. It's not just a goat, by the way. I know it looks like a goat, because it's the exact same sprite, you know, as the goat. But it's a lonely goat. It is sad. It has feelings. It has feelers. And it has sad feelers right now. Parrot? Did we get a parrot? I'm holding a hope for a parrot, but instead I got grass. Fancy decorative grass, but grass nonetheless. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Alright, medical herb number two. Okay, this is the crappiest trap setup I've ever seen. There's no reason why you should die to these traps. This is interesting. Oh, that sound. It's that terrible uh, Will blocking something with his flute sound. Um, what is this nonsense? Go, 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 go. Stand here. Get. Okay. Now's the time to burn him if you got him in terms of gems. Alright, go. Hit that. Okay. Now go. I can't hit that yet, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's no fun. Um, 
Get in, get to the corner, I think. Actually, I don't need to get to the corner. I just need to stand right here. Plenty of time. I got loads of time. So it seems like in an effort to make it so you couldn't just, um, you know, get mobbed from the onset, they give you enough space... Oop, nope, that was a mistake. They give you enough time um, for him to turn uninvincible. Or, I guess, vulnerable would be the better way to put it. They give you time to turn him vulnerable before uh, he comes to attack you. Which is a nice touch. It's good balance. Um, but at the same time, it shouldn't let me hover in this doorway. That's, um, that's not great. What did I unlock? I released a goat. So then there's a lonely goat, and then there's another goat. It's just the goat village. That's lovely. Lovely village of goats. There's an enemy. Oh, that hurt my soul. Get it, Soul Blazer? That hurt my soul. <laughs> yeah, I I know, I know. That wasn't very good. I will say the difficulty curve is rather, rather, rather low. It's not a high difficulty curve. What do we got? Another goat. Another tulip. So it's either a tulip or a goat, basically. I'd say that's interesting, but I, I don't find that interesting. Okay, what do we got here? Released a boy. Okay. A boy in a shed. Weird. Alright, I don't feel like I went over here. What's over here? If anything. Nothing I can do right now. Was interesting. What do we got? A boy in a cave. A cave boy. Oh, it, it looks very, very similar conceptually to the hideout that Will and his friends use in Illusions. That's that's nice. This is a fun mini game, though. Magic in this game is a fun mini game. Oh, I bet you this, whatever I'm gonna get here is gonna let me kill those guys. Oh God! Oh yeah, no. No, 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 no. Do not rush, but be patient. You must continue making steady progress. Oh yeah, no. I, I wasn't even not making steady progress. I just got trucked. I don't know if there's such a thing as a reincarnation. Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company. So his wife died and became the goat. She was reincarnated as a goat. Yeah, medical herb. Please. Oh, apparently I still have it. That guy just trucked me. Okay. By the way, that's the bonus boss that uh, I was unable to complete in Illusions. Just a fun little thing. Come, I shall show you around. Please follow me. Okay, goat. Show me. What are you gonna show me? This is the home of Dr. Leo the Inventor and his daughter, Lisa. Dr. Leo was a great painter as well as an inventor. One day, many soldiers came and took him away. Lisa does not uh, has not been the same since. Okay, context. House at the top of the cliff contains a painting by Dr. Leo. I think the title of the painting is something like The World of Evil, which is a very nice touch. Alright, I don't care. 
This is our secret passage. I cannot let you through without a pass. So I'm hoping that the kid gives me a pass. What are you going to say? House people constructed for the goats. I am not terribly fond of it. I did see something on the ground near the corner of the fence. What do we got? On the ground, corner of the fence. Medical herb! Great. Something I can get for free anytime I want. That's awfully generous of you, game. So I'm just going to talk to the boy at the bottom of this cliff. Oh, you scared me. This is our secret hut. We have a hidden treasure near here. Okay. Uh, so I'm walking around pressing the button. What do you got to see, Tulip? Oh, it's a sleeping plant. Alright. I'll bite. What the heck is this? Yeah, I placed my dream rod on the tulip. Okay, that's some decent music right there. In my dreams, I can do anything I like. For example, ha! By the way, this is pretty much a retexture of that room that we walked in for the boss. Interesting, right? The monster is running all over Dr. Zillow's paintings. Cannot be defeated unless you have a special sword. You must find the special sword that can destroy metal. Return here once you've found the sword. Would you like to return to the Grass Valley? Yes, please. All right, we need a magic sword that can destroy metal. Which, you know, to my mind, is any sword. Right? Because it, I mean, it's metal. Generally, things can destroy themselves. I need a pass for that kid. That's annoying. Um, oh, treasure near him. Uh, let's see. It's got to be... It's got to be that they have a pass and I can go in there and there's like a sword hidden in there or something. Can I perhaps knock the kid out and like take his stuff? Secret hut. Hidden treasure near here. I did not want to go back to the dream world. Damn it. I don't want to talk to the jewelry. All right, we're going back into the painting. This is the unfortunate part about doing something like this blind. Mind you, I have never, never, not once played this game. I, I don't want to reread your text. Please just let me go. Can I get a hint where the sword is, please? Or can we make the text go faster? That would be great, too. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we need to do back underground. Can I tell this guy his goat is his wife? No, I can't. Does the sneaky lonely goat have another tip for me? No. Alright, uh, let's go Dream Rod back to paintbrushes. Thank you. Alright, so don't go into the boss room, because he's made of metal, and he will kill you. He will kill you quickly and outright. The good news is we don't have to, you know, take down these guys again, because that would drive me insane. Um, literally insane, like I would be raving and speaking in tongues. Alright, so when you kill him, that will open that up. We can't kill him right now. So, what do we got? Go this way. Let's head back this way. When we kill these guys, that will open up, alright? Alright, it's gonna be these guys. I hate these guys, they're terrible to take down. Alright. Let's, um, get a stack of them. Let's get a Doom stack going. And then we'll slash them. Was that it? Oh, yeah. Alright. That's what we were waiting for. 
This is gonna take us somewhere. Oh, here we go. Is it back in this room? No. Okay. I figured it was worth at least trying. What do we got? Uh, took him down. So as soon as we go through here, it's boss time, and we can't defeat the boss yet. Okay. So it's got to be the kid's freaking secret past thing. Which is going to be the kid's treasure. Oh my god. Check underneath all the tulips. Okay. Are there any tulips in here? There are not. So with that information, can I go and... Do I have to go look through all the tulips now? That's annoying. Yeah. Do you have something underneath you? No. There's that mountain cave I would like to get to. That would be good. Uh, that's what we just talked to. Alright, over here, nope. Nope. What about you? Anything under you? Yeah, there is a watermelon here now, Tulip. You're behind the times. Ah, there's a pass. Okay, so you had to talk to the kid, then follow him to the plant, then push the plant. So that was that was a good solid ten minutes of effort right there. All right, now take this pass, please. I have a pass. Ugh, I need to equip the pass, don't I? Oh, the pass. Where'd you find it? You can go inside now. Would you please move a little? Because the game was kind of lazy in coding. Strange bottle. Okay, strange bottle. Alright, you will not lose any gems should you like me to reach... I'm guessing zero? Well, that doesn't feel like it was super helpful. I'm thinking we're going to go back down into the undergrounds and see what's up. No one's giving me a very solid hint here, which leads me to believe that maybe something's going on down here. Monsterly remaining zero. Okay. What if I go to the next segment over? Because this segment is zero. But is the next segment zero? Is this segment zero? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Single hit mosey around. Okay, new theory. Uh, new theory. I need to use magic. That's my new theory. Let's test this theory quickly. Alright, so he's invincible when he's like that. Does he come out of that form? 
No. Okay, so that's a thing. That's a thing we just learned. Let us see. No. So just this guy. No. So do I need to kill this guy in order to freaking get a sword? Because this is not working on these guys, but clearly it hurts him. So, spit, 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 spit. Okay, so I can't block that. I can't really sidestep it. I gotta go just like, like that. This is incredibly difficult. Whoa! Almost. Okay. So, we have to zerg him. Okay. I got it. I got a strat. 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 I don't think this requires any skill whatsoever. We figured it out. I need a medical herb, lady. Now. I mean, I wouldn't mind two. You could give me two. I right, come in here. So if we stay at, like, just the right thing, then he's only gonna spit at us, and he's not going to do that swipe attack. Okay, that was so lame. That was like easily the lamest boss fight I think I've ever, ever done. I released the village chief, okay. Welcome to my room, I finally feel like myself again. I have something to tell you. Please come back to my house. Oh, <laughs> oh it was like a half an hour of me looking to figure out what the hell was going on. Oh, that's so frustrating. Possibly even more frustrating than that is the fact that I need to walk back down this belt. I feel as though I have been surrounded by darkness. In that darkness, I heard my best friend Leo. He told me to give his brown stone to a person named Games and Sloan Bad. I don't know what the brown stone looks like, but this is a stone that I received from him the day before he disappeared. I received the brown stone. Suddenly, the master's voice came thundering down from the heavens. The brown stone you have is a key to open the world of evil. This is where Death, Troll, uh, Death Toll lives. Come back to me with the stone. Yes, sir. Alright, so this seems like it might be chapter one complete. Let's go. Alright, Master. The brown stone you receive is one of six stones in this world. Excellent, so it's sort of like the uh, mystic statues in Illusions. When all six of these stones are gathered, the gate link to the world of evil shall be open. Now you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. How can I help you? Record. Yes. 
Do not give up. Okay, everyone, that's where we're going to call it for today. We have basically cleared, I think, Act 1 out. We defeated the lamest enemy in the history of mankind by um, running into him with a sword over and over again and taking way too much damage. No lie. That's exactly what we did. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another episode in a few days. Uh, again, we'll mix this in with other content, so uh, this blind run will, uh, will stay fresh. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.